Hey, my name is Kelly Kessler. I'm the host of the podcast, Rewiring Health, and I'm obsessed with helping you stop feeling burnout, living in pain, and anxious about the future. You see, for years, I felt like I was never good enough. I repeated in my head, when I accomplish this, then I'll finally be happy. And even when I accomplished it, there was always emptiness in my heart. I always put others' needs before my own, negative thoughts ran wild in my head, and I always struggled to truly feel like I could relax and be present. Well, through my journey of healing, rewiring my brain, regulating my nervous system, and reprogramming my subconscious mind, I have recovered from an eating disorder, I have healed from chronic back pain, and I can truly be present with my two boys and feel that I am living the life I was destined to live with purpose and with joy. And I'm here to guide you along the same journey of healing. So you wake up, your phone is right on the table next to you, and it feels almost like a magnet. You grab the phone, and before you know it, you subconsciously open every app, scroll through social media, you're on your email, you're looking at the news headlines, and you're feeling stressed. And this is how you start your day. I can't tell you how many times I did this, and it did not serve me. It set me up to be in a whirlwind of negativity, and I was just starting my day. And that's why I created the morning guide for perfectionists. So if you struggle with negativity throughout the day, and it's even worse in the morning because you don't have a routine, this will help you tremendously. It's literally everything that I implement that has helped me start my day with the right intentions and put myself into a place of inner harmony. So grab in the link below and enjoy. You know, I look back in so many times in my life where the things that I did, which were so perfectionist driven, were so praised by so many people around me. Like I would just be constantly going, like I'd be grinding all the time, never giving myself a minute to rest. And this is often celebrated, especially here in America, where it's like, be a go-getter, grind, go, 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 work for your dreams. Like, and while, yes, those are good. Like I am a hundred percent behind working hard, but those are so emphasized. And it's almost like you get a trophy when for not giving yourself a rest. And I look back at so many moments in my life where like, I did not let myself rest. Like I would go harder. And then even though I was pushing myself hard, I would tell myself that's not enough. And then push myself even harder. That's not enough. And so you're stuck in this vicious cycle of working your butt off and just never feeling like your efforts are enough. And it's such a self-defeatist cycle that you get stuck into. And all the while I was being praised for my determination, my discipline, which yes, I was, but nobody knew the driving force. And when you see somebody just grinding and never giving themselves a moment, never honoring their needs, like, why are we praising that? And so when you're a perfectionist, it's a totally different mindset. Like many times motivation is something people struggle with. Like many people struggle with getting going or, or accomplishing what's on their to-do list. But when you're a perfectionist, like that comes very naturally. Like for me, working hard is my default setting. Like I work hard. Like I have no problem grinding and putting the hours in and going after what I want. That has never been an issue. And if you're a perfectionist, you understand too, like you We'll do whatever it takes to do what you want and get what you want. And rest can take a back seat. But when you're a perfectionist, rest is the thing that you have to train. And this was such a big eye opener because I would get to the end of the day and be like, oh, why can't I just relax? Like, why do I feel like this? Why do I always feel overwhelmed? Like, why do I feel on the brink of burnout? Like, why do I feel like I'm on a treadmill going high speed and I'm like just trying to keep up all the time in my life? And like, why do I feel like I'm juggling 10 different things in my life and I can never let one drop? I was unforgiving, unrelentless, like I, I were relentless rather. I would never let anything fall, falter except for my own self-care. And this is such a big thing that like when we are, our default is go, we have to make a conscious and intentional effort to actually slow down, to train ourselves that we are allowed to slow down, like actually give ourselves permission to slow down. 
And even when people outside ourselves would be like, oh, just take a break, take a day off. Like it sounds great, but in your head, like there's so much guilt around taking a moment for yourself. There's so much guilt around like not accomplishing that next thing and jumping right into the next task, even though you need a break that you don't do it, that you make excuses for why, like, that's not as important for as the next thing that I need to accomplish. Like you are so used to grinding and just the self-care doesn't happen. And at the end of the day, like I'm fine becomes our broken record. Like I'm fine. I'll take care of it. I am fine. I can do it by myself. Like I'm fine, but deep down, you know, you're not fine. And this is how I felt for years. I am, I was the queen of, I'm fine. I do by myself. I'm fine. I can do it. And meanwhile, I felt like I was slowly, like my flame was burning out. Like I was like running on fumes. Like I, my tank was going on empty and I felt like there was no, no way to ever restore that energy back in myself and just felt this complete loss of like, how do I get myself into a place where I don't feel like I'm trapped? Like, I felt like I had no way out. I felt like this is just how life is. Like you just have to go. And then one day when things all work out, I'll take care of myself. One day when I get that job that doesn't demand so much of me, I'll take care of myself. One day when I don't have to worry about all these stressors in my life, I'll finally like give myself some time and honor my needs. And you know what? I did this for so long that one day never came. The one day that I had to take a rest was a forced rest because my back was in excruciating pain. I felt completely drained. I was in tears. Like I, the one day ends up being your burnout. So this message is for anyone who's feeling like you're going hard, you're already working hard and you feel like the world is telling you to work harder and that you need to just keep going for that one day. Or if you feel like you're just never enough, you feel like you're, you're just exhausted, you're drained, you don't know how much you have left in the tank, but yet you feel like there's no give anywhere. There's no, there's no one that's coming to save you and, and you have to do it all by yourself. And I want to let you know that that one day is never going to come. That one day that you actually are given permission or are allowed to take a break is never going to come. That one day has to be today and you have to start now. And I wish the message I'm giving you today was something I heard 10, 15, 20 years ago that there's never going to be a day when you feel like you can actually give yourself a moment of rest and that things will be good enough that everything will be taken care of. And you'll finally hit this moment in your life where everything is just like perfect and, and butterflies and sunshine that never happens. Like once one problem gets fixed, another one, another two come and those problems get fixed. And then another two come like that's life. So if we're not honoring our needs today in this moment, every moment that we feel like we're hitting that low point, we're doing ourselves a huge disservice and we're setting ourselves up for a deeper spiral into a place that we don't want to be in. And so I'm sharing this just because I didn't honor my needs for years and I paid the price. I paid the price in feeling chronic back pain. I paid the price in experiencing a disorder, eating disorder. I paid the price in having panic attacks at night. I paid the price by not even being present for my son when he was born. I was physically there, but mentally I was in a different place. I paid the price by feeling stressed, overwhelmed, burdened, stuck. I pay the price by countless tears. And we all pay a price for when we don't honor ourselves. And we think that if we just keep pushing, pushing harder and harder, we'll get to a point where all of a sudden we'll have this breakthrough and everything will be great. And you know, that breakthrough doesn't come. And that was the biggest realization that like, it was never coming. There was nothing, there was no end point to that, that work. There was just basically slowly burning out my own flame, my energy slowly declining and everything else going with it. And so if you're listening to this, take the moment, take the moment now, invest in yourself, be the person that you need to be, be your own hero and allow yourself to have that moment each day, each hour, if you need to at this moment, to just honor something that your body, your mind, and your spirit are craving. Because there's never going to be a point when it feels like you have permission. You have to give yourself permission in this moment right now. And even if it feels hard, even if it feels uncomfortable because you're used to just working, embrace it, 
and move into that discomfort in the smallest way possible. Lean into those uncomfortable feelings of taking a moment of pause, slowing down, not crossing something off that list today. So I hope that serves you well. If you found value in this, please share it with someone else, spread this message and let someone else gain the benefit of not feeling like they have to live another day where they have to grind, feel like they're not enough and push themselves to the brink of burnout. Take care and thank you for listening. Thank you for spending your precious time to listen to this episode of Rewiring Health. My mission is to inspire hope and healing through science-backed practices. If you found value in this, please share with three people and leave a review. By doing so, this message can be spread to those who need to hear it most. Also, to get updates on the most recent episodes, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for being part of this community, and I am forever grateful for you.